Welcome to Sears Christmas Book 1954. We're doing another section today, and this time we are doing home furnishings. I had to kind of take my breath away when I looked at the prices here. Kenmore washer, $249. We're talking 1954. Now I know why we had a ringer washer at my home for many, many years. We couldn't afford this. Um, the refrigerator, $384. Freezer, $344. Yikes. Appliances were expensive then. It's funny how pricing has evolved through the years. Um, stoves, refrigerators. I mean, well, here's... These are both stoves. I'm sorry, no refrigerator here. But the pricing of them. Hmm. I think you can buy wash stoves right now for about that price. Of course, these would last 25, 30 years. The new ones, no, we wouldn't expect that. You know, these things were made well, and they were pretty, too. They were always chromey. Just beautiful. Mixers. Of course, everybody had to have their Kenmore mixer. And it had all kinds of attachments and stuff. You could do just about everything, anything. Juicing, just everything with them. Yeah, there was such a thing as blow dryers, but they didn't have the the wattage or the um, wind volume as the new ones do, that's for sure. Massagers. And things to beautify your home a little more. Your screens for your fireplaces. You could buy your water heaters. Just a variety of things here. Things for the children's room. Jello molds. Canisters for your flour and sugar and such. Coffee grinders. Kitchen utensils, cook, cookie making press, cookie press. Mm, and here's your cooking pans. The whole set. Very similar thing to Revereware for $32. Barbecuers, rotisseries. Bathroom items. Oh, look at this page. I love this. Look at those cute stools, the cute tables with the tops on them. The baskets for going on picnics. Look at the wonderful coloring of the scales. I love that vinyl coloring on there. Keep thinking of Having pages stick together here. And look at the record players. Oh my goodness. How fantastic. Played a lot of good music on those. And over here it looks like this is uh, records that you could buy. 78 RPMs, 45s. How much was a record? Hmm, 49 cents. 
more record players. Everybody had a record player in their home. People played a lot of records at home. You couldn't always get as many channels on the radio. I mean, there was a minimum amount. But if you wanted to make sure you got the music you liked, you bought your records. And you would buy off the top 100. And uh, it would change every week, of course. So I would go to Newberry's and I'd see what was the number one song of the week. And a lot of times I'd buy it. They were like 49 cents, I think. At Newberry's even. TVs. So we did not get our first TV until 1958, and I recall the TV being at the TV repair shop more than it was in our living room. I don't know why, but there was good jobs out there for TV repairmen. They were kept busy because I know we would always have to wait and wait and wait for ours. Usually was gone for about three or four weeks. It was a bummer. Radios, look at all these adorable radios. Listen to radio shows on the radio. Certain time of day, kid ones would come on and you'd want to listen to them. Christmas time. We would hear the cinnamon bear here in Portland, Oregon. And that was always fun. There'd be a different episode on every night. And that was leading up to Christmas. Roy, Roy Rogers. Sears and Roy Rogers must have had a deal going. Towels. His and hers. Those were great gift items for people when they were getting married. Seems everybody had those, the new couples. Blankets. I'll tell you one thing. Blankets are a lot nicer now than they used to be. They were always kind of stiff and hard. But now you can buy such wonderful, luscious blankets. Now, sheets, you could get some very nice cotton sheets. It's hard to find a good good sheet anymore. It fits your bed just right. It's really nice and comfortable. Cotton sheets, they are the best. They really are. I don't care about all the spendy thread counts and all the different kinds of fabrics. Cotton is just the best. These are actually little things that put your sewing things in. Look more like little milking cans. <laughs> Jewelry and shoe and, and garment bags. Silverware. You know, a lot of people that lived away from the city where there was stores that you could go shop in, they really relied on catalogs to get maybe the majority of the things they needed for their homes. I was thinking about this the other day, just like how so many people buy things online now um, and don't go shopping for them. Well, back in the day, you might have went to the dry goods store in town and looked through their catalog and ordered things. Hmm. Things haven't changed too much, have they? Ordering everything online. 
These are beautiful chenille um, quilts, spreads. Some tablecloths. It was always important to set a pretty table for the holidays or whenever you had guests over. You see here some dishes that you would want to get your hands on at a thrift store. Again, very nice, very cute things to add to your dinner table. Some of these items are just so adorable. On these lamps, mm. ashtrays, Pictures, mirrors, items for your tiki room. Oh, and of course, it was always appropriate to buy boxes of candy and send them to relatives out of state for Christmas. And of course, the fruit pie. Or the fruit cake. I'm sorry, not fruit pie. Fruit cake. I swear, my father and his sister, who lived in Minnesota, they sent that same fruitcake back and forth for quite a few years. It was kind of a joke. And I don't know. I think I think finally my mom opened it, and I think it quickly went into the garbage. <laughs> Yummy! Look at all that candy. Oh yo 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 yo! It's a lot of chocolate. And the Christmas candies. You really don't see too much of that. I guess you can see it sometimes in specialty shops. Like the ribbon. And uh, the little... They look filled, but those were all hard as a rock. You had to suck on them. Things that looked like peanuts. They were all hard, but they did have some kind of a not-so-tasty, liquidy kind of stuff inside. Well, looks like we're at the end of um, uh, this section. So please subscribe and spend some time with us to go through another section of our Sears Christmas book from 1954.